Guys, welcome to game two between React and Mitech. I'm going to have React starting as the very stylish Green Protoss. I did not check the map. Is this Metaverse? Looks like Metaverse. Actually, no, this is Good Night. On Good Night. More macro oriented map. Mitech starting in the bottom right hand corner as the Pink Zerg. Looking very cute. This is B Cell Season 14 Hostile League round of eight between these two players. React, we've seen him be very, very strong, but flubbing game one, not recognizing that it was a nine hatchery, overextending and plopping down that Nexus, just overly greedy. Mitak executing well from there. We'll see if React, because this is a more macro oriented and it is a four player map, if he opts to open Forge first rather than Gateway as an opener. Currently he has a probe holding position. Oftentimes this is more of an indicator of a gateway first build. Mitech looks like once again he's planning on going for that nine hatchery opener because we have no overlord being produced. We'll see if we see a repeat of game one potentially although this this time it's going to be on a four player map. Longer rush distances. So yeah gateway first from react. Looks like he is going to get first scout at the very least. One advantage is because it is four player with the Zerglings that are produced to follow, it's a little bit harder, a little bit, I mean, there might be an opportunity where the Zealots are moving across the map and Mitak might not know the location of his opponent potentially. Although here you might have an idea because he didn't have the Overlord spot the probe as it's coming across. Probe walking into the main, hopefully is confirmed the nine hatch this time. Walking and trying to do a damage a little bit later, timing on the spawning pool here as well by just a smidge. Drone versus probe fight. Shields have been peeled off. First salt in production, and now we'll see if React reacts to the nine hatch a little bit more in kind this time. Maybe moves that probe to the natural expansion to confirm that it's up a little bit more rapidly than usual. I expect Mitek to do pretty much the same. A little bit less economically efficient than a straight 12 hatch. It does give you a lot and you do have to dedicate a lot of Zerglings, but it plays pretty well against the gateway openers. First sell it, walking its way down. This Overlord confirming that nothing's here. So now as this Zealot's making its way in, Mitek is going to have confirmation on his opponent's base location. We are seeing 10 Zerglings being produced once again, and this is looking like a repeat of the previous match. More Zealots making their way across. The probe looking like it wants to set up to grab a Nexus again. Which again would be a huge, no, no, okay, now the Zealot coming back. So the Nexus is being plopped down, but one Zealot is coming back. Drones being transferred to that natural expansion. Yeah, the two Zealots, well, let's see, one of them's rallied that location. This Zealot able to get some bonus kills. So the Zealot and the Probe gone. The rest of the Zerglings flooding out towards the front. A Forge is there to potentially blockade. The Zealot and we do have two Zealots now on defense. So this is a more defensible situation for React now. It needs to plug that upper gap. See if the Zerglings are going to try to push their way through regardless. Third Zealot on the way. They can start attacking this gateway. A lot of Zerglings making their way across third base for Mintech at the six o'clock location. One Zealot wandering too far, for, or sorry, the, the Zealot being spawned, but initially moving out too far forward and wondering if the rally point is off. Two cannons being morphed. Is it going to be in time to save this gateway though? Zerglings punching away at this. Probes coming off the line to try to defend. Probes sneaking through the gap now. Gateway's down. And it looks like Mitek is going to get a good amount of Zerglings. So a lot of the Zerglings being thin, but a lot of them making it into the main. And probes pulled off the line, so there's some disrupted mining time. More Zerglings running up. They're going to work on that pylon on the front so that a cannon can't be dropped here. There is a, another pylon on that back corner, so actually just getting what damage they can. More Zerglings flooding up. Is this just going to be straight three hatch Zergling? from Mitek. He's just now grabbing his extractor. 
Zealot able to clean out a few of these Zerglings, so now only two remaining. React actually still ahead in the worker count. Primarily because Mitek being very aggressive with the Zergling production. But now as things stabilizing, React in the dark, not able to get a scout out there. Three bases are established, but no, the gas just starting to come in for Mitek. Let's see if he plops down a fourth hatchery actually, and tries to roll into that style from here. Actually kind of curious to see it. Gateway coming back online. Three zealots stall early on the front with the two cannons. React, four workers up, but Mitak in a situation where he can really pump a lot of his economy and not really worry about a counter threat. He just needs to get that anti-air up. Three zealots testing the front. Mitak not responding as rapidly as he might, but that's enough Zerglings out in the field that I think React needs to think twice about pressing on the front. Fourth hatchery, yeah, being plopped Hydro's Den as well. So yeah, now it's kind of a transition Interesting transition into the mid-game, although this e this might turn into 5-hatch Hydralisk. Potentially what we'll be missing is the layer tech behind this. I have not seen Zergling speed as of yet. Metek still mining gas. An evolution chamber being dropped. A creep colony being grouped up as well. Zerglings actually might be able to get a swarm on this right zealot. Looks like instead they're just going to go ahead and back up. And try to... Unfortunately, I don't know if the SimCity really works for... Yeah, okay, it looks like React kind of backed out, but it does not it's not really efficient for Zerglings. It's efficient for Hydralisks behind this line as they can attack over the wall. Third cannon being dropped preventatively. Stargate coming online, and we do see plus one weapons. So React wanting to take to the air. Actually, double forge as well. So it looks like it's going to be a Zealot Corsair combo. Zerglings engaging Zealots in the midfield. And Midtech continually keeping that Zergling count high. Pushing his opponent back. He is now sitting at what looks like... So yeah, now he's transitioning to 5-hatch Hydra. Plus one weapons is going to be out pretty rapidly. But with the double forge, as time extends, Midtech is going to end up ahead in the upgrade eventually. First Corsair is out, Citadel of Adun. Going to be out shortly as well. Two gas for Mitak. And he might turn this into, well, is he going to go for a Hydralis bus to follow, or is he going to just go for more of a macro contained situation from here? Sitting at 28 workers. The Corsair going to be a wander, able to wander in and at least confirm that there's no lair at the main. Moving towards the natural expansion, confirming no lair there as well. So should have, never mind, layer just now being triggered. So confirming the hatchery count, confirming the drone saturation. Not over dedicating. And Mitek actually grouping up. The Zerglings engaging. However, the Hydralists delayed behind this. The Zealots are coming off the line to try to get in these Hydralists' face. Some Zerglings are getting on the cannons. Two additional cannons being dropped. Now, is this sufficient for Mitek to break? I don't think it is. Probes coming off the line. Zealots. One Zealot still working to the north. Two additional cannons still morphing. The probes on top of the Hydalus behind this. And it looks like an Overlord taking some damage as well. More Hydalus moving up, but it looks like Mitek not quite able to break. Pushing and taking out another cannon, but the additional cannons now morphing in, and three cannons should be sufficient to deal with the five Hydralisks. However, with these cannons at that back position, they might be able to knock that forge down, take out that gateway, and that would, especially if this pylon gets knocked out, just, yeah, that, that hurts. Weapons one's not finishing. mid -tech following up with more Hydralisks, though. Zealots coming off the line to try to defend. Probes again being pulled off the line. And did Weapons 1, it looks like a pylon morphing in, was able to allow Weapons 1 to finish. Forge is now going to collapse as well, and so Midtech threatening the natural expansion with a large amount of Hydralisks. 
React holding on for dear life. More probes trying to fight off the line. There are a lot of cannons in place. The Zealot still without leg speed. Now just bunched up around that natural expansion. More Heigl is pushing in. Here's the thing for mid -tech. We'll see if he starts filtering in some troops. It looks like we do have a Templar Archives. I don't know if we have Sidestorm yet. Zelt leg speed should be there momentarily. Hydralis already have plus one spines, which means they hit pretty hard. Mitak close to even on supply with React. React just up to 10. Oof. Losing control of a couple of these Hydralis. More Hydralis are starting to funnel towards the front. So now Mittech, despite the fact that he wasn't able to punch through that natural expansion, he does have React more or less contained. The question will be, can he tr transition that containment into a stronger economy, or is React going to be able to produce the troops to bust out? Five gateways behind all this. High Templar now in position. Potentially to get Sidestorm. Double Forge in the background, continuing that upgrade climb. A robotics facility dropping as well. Sixth and seventh and eighth gateway tacking on. More Hydralisks moving towards the front. I don't know if Lurker Tech has been researched. Midtech actually might just be gathering up for another bust. going to engage once again. Let's see if he can get on top of these Hydralis, or on top of, I'm sorry, of the High Templar before they drop Psystorm. Cannons being wiped out. Big Psystorm over a group. That's one grouping of Hydralis taken out. Another grouping of Hydralis taken out. There's still more Psystorm there. Another big Psystorm. Cannons are dwindling, however. But after all of the Psystorm has been expended, there's only four Hydralis remaining. Cannons are wiped out, but Zealots and High Templar are starting to move out on the field. More Hydalists are starting to group up to try to defend this. Looks like they're rallied towards the front. They might want to regroup and defend an Archon, or two Archons morphing on the front. And Midtech might be able to reseal that containment with some reinforcements, but he does have to deal with these Zealots that are running midfield. Still has overwhelming amounts of troops. Midtech behind in the supply count, however. And with all of those gateways producing a lot of troops, React now with a large follow-up grouping and more Psystorm able to damage those fleeing Hydralisks. Looks like some Overlord's going to eat some damage as well. So it feels like React is starting to shift the balance of the match towards his favor. Lurker Tech just being started. Level 2 weapons is going to be there for these Hydralisks momentarily. However, level 2 weapons, level 1 armor are also going to be there. High Templar getting picked off. More Psystorm being dropped. Some nice pickoffs from Midtech, keeping at least the High Templar count small. But some Zealots peeling for. There's only a single Sutton Colony there at the 6 o'clock location. This is more than a sufficient attack force to potentially punch in at that location. And React generally opening up the field. Looks like he's already moving up a probe to go ahead and grab his third base. So the contain is broken. React way ahead in supply. Enough so that I do believe he can get aggressive. Hydral is bunching up, potentially to buy time for some lurkers to be in sufficient numbers to go ahead and defend the front. React overstepping, not having his troops grouped up, so level two spines able to punch it. It looks like Mitek going for a counterattack, wanting to pick off this Nexus before the cannons are able to come online while React's troops are out of position. Some Dragoons trying to buy some time. It looks like the focus fire is not on the Nexus. They're going to take the cannons down before being pushed back. But React has opened things up. He's got a solid worker count. Corsair looks like it managed to find one Overlord kill somewhere in the middle of this. So mid tack with a furious attack, unrelenting attacks early, but not paying off. Now has Lurkers morphing, but he's in the mid game running into a disadvantageous situation. Let's see if React, keep in mind the army count's a little bit deceptive here. So 30 supply down, the armies are about even in supply size. Big grouping of overlords. If the Corsair gets there, that could be dangerous. Midtech continuing to apply the pressure, moving up with additional Hydralists to punch and maybe take down that third base. 
it is critical that React holds that third because he's about to end up running out of troops at the main. Psystorm being dropped, but not on the Lurkers. Observer not in position. The Lurkers actually holding the high ground. Hydra is swarming now. Some Psystorm being dropped as React having to walk up his own natural expansion. The Hydralisks eating some Psystorm. They're not focused firing that Nexus. Taking out some probes there. But I don't know that's sufficient. Really, the crown would be being able to take out this Nexus, and they weren't able to take out that Nexus, which means React still going to be able to mine and get that additional base up. And on top of that, Mittag dedicating a lot of troops. He's just now moving up to that third or 30 worker count. Yeah, still with the big supply lead, if he can just keep his troops cohesive and engaging. The upgrade lead, level 2 weapons, level 2 armor, very much in his favor. Level 1 Carapace is just now going to come online. Drop being upgraded from mid -tack. He wants to continue, I guess he wants to go for continued aggression. But the match starting to slide in React's favor. big army full of high one thing that mid-tech has done fantastically is picking off these high templar at nearly every location observers going to join this grouping the hydralisks positioning once again poking down working on some cannons drawing some of react's army back a kind of a distractionary attack one lurker able to burrow here to the north while hydralisks are trying to move the mid-range high ground react bunching the troops there let's see if he just moves a single dragoon and observer to deal with the rest of the grouping rest of the troops there the corsair continuing to kind of patrol that area to see whether a fourth was grabbed or not lurker repositioning able to get a few additional probes but dying otherwise so drop has now been researched there are a bunch of overlords here in the upper left hand corner for Midtech to go ahead and group that up. Maybe he can go for a Doom Drop on the main. The main's currently mined out, so he's got to take out infrastructure there to make it worthwhile. The natural looking thin for React, but he is up both in upgrades and supply. Midtech looking for a game sweeping killing blow. React's army looks like it might be way out of position to engage this as it is moving towards the middle of the map. Overlords are starting to swing. React double checking to see if an additional base has been grabbed, but no, Midtac is remaining on the offensive. Lurker's on the high ground now, and React has an immense of ground. Did he see the base? Or sorry, did he see this drop incoming? I think he might have. The attack force swarming back to try to get in position. Hydralisks, Zerglings. able to take out both forges the troops coming in a few at a time high templar are in their ranks but it looks like it's just going to be two forges and a cannon before mid tech regroups reloads and pulls his troops right back out mid tech actually in the red upon losing those overlords so mid tech's strategy now to hold back react is to just have that threat of drops. In the meantime, though, React is surging ahead in supply. He's going for a counterattack. Looks like Hydros are being dropped to deny that base at the 12 o'clock location. React has level three weapons, level two armor already, so I'm not sure losing those forges really hurt. The Observer is coming in a little bit late, so a lot of free damage with those forward lurkers. Now, can the Hydros hold the line? Psystorm over the lurkers and the Hydros to the right. React with a formidable army pressing in. Bit of a whiff of the side storm right there. He needs to be very, very careful with that observer. He's only got one of them. Mid-tech redropping in the main. React just going to try to rely on reinforcements from his gateways to take care of that as he's pressing into the natural expansion. And right now, Mid-tech, I don't... So he's got some troops dedicated here. Yeah, he's going to be able to take out a robotic facility. Some cannons being dropped. But he might end up losing his natural expansion and potentially the game in exchange for those few buildings he's getting in React's main. Dragoon's pressing in, hitting hard with those level 3 weapons. Psystorm over the drone line. 
and this might be GG right here. Midtac still with a few Hydralisks taking out a gateway. It looks like there's some troops grouping up to go ahead and wipe that out. The Hydralisk then in threat. More units peeling out for Bitac to try to defend. A couple of High Templar and some Zealots in position to drop some Sidestorm to cut off reinforcements from the third. And there's GG from Midtac. Relentless Assault not paying off for him. So the series evens up one-to-one. -one. We'll move on to game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.